Scorpio. It's me, Jen, here to do your second half of April bi-weeklies. How we doing, y'all? How we doing, Scorpios? Are we still in, in that dark spiral? I think I saw that in one of the readings. Anyways, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Care Less More, Olivia O'Brien. Um, it's like, it's a contest, who can care less more? Or I hope I keep her side of the bed warm, because that's the only reason you've been keeping me around. Um, but she does say that she's doing the same. So, could be a little, like, quarantine chill action, you know. Quarantine's getting to us all. Maybe we're have to stop and ask ourselves, do we really like this person or are we just bored? Maybe this is the state of mind you're in right now, Scorpio. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's see what the cards have to say for my Scorpio. <laughs> Ooh. Love yourself. All right. Two more, two more Oracle cards for advice before we get into this reading. Speak up. All right. So maybe this whole care less more thing, maybe you need to ooh, claim your art. Um, gosh, I got that for another reading. I want to say maybe it was Leo or something. Something like that. Maybe it was Cancer. I don't know. Um, so this love yourself, claim your art, speak up. So maybe you're in a situation where you feel like you're being a little bit used, manipulated. I don't know. But sometimes it's really important to stand up for yourself, to speak up for yourself. And especially if it's like in regards to... A work situation where you're not getting the rightful claim for something it's okay to speak up for yourself it's okay to believe in yourself enough to be like I don't support this anyways let's get into the cards let's see what the bottom of the deck we got the four of cups in reverse ooh, 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 ooh. coming out of perhaps a time of feeling a little bit um, like you missed an opportunity or like you were trapped in your emotions. So that little dark place you're in, I feel like you're out of it. I feel like you're finally coming out of this state of maybe being like really in your feels. You're finally kind of like seeing the light again. Or you're starting to see opportunities. You're starting to shift out of that mode. I always feel like when Scorpios get in that mode, they're like comfortable there. It's cool for them to be there. But I really feel like you could be... Um, transitioning out of that mode and maybe while you're in there you create you're very creative you created a lot of stuff and maybe it's saying like release that if you feel comfortable maybe release it to the world I don't know maybe we need that maybe we need that intense energy of yours all right overall energy between you and another person we've got the ten of wands so you could be feeling a little bit burdened right now by a situation um, Sorry about that. I'm feeling like a little bit lightheaded here. So, um, and take, keep that in mind because maybe there's like something that you need to ground yourself on. I'm feeling like you guys might not be so grounded right now. And it's because you're, you're, you're a little bit overburdened in a certain regard. Um, or the person you're dealing with is feeling a little bit burdened. Let's get a clarifier for that. Queen of Cups. Um, I think you're overburdened by like having so many emotions and kind of not knowing what to do with all these emotions, um, which could be a message for you to create something with them. It can be as simple as when you drop the burden, when you stop like obsessing over what it is that you're meant to be doing. Sometimes the universe can send us like messages through kind of that heart chakra through that third eye chakra allowing us to know what the next step forward is and i feel like that's something that you could be needing to do right now also in a romantic sense you could be dealing with another water sign but i really feel like this is you um trying to make sense of the own messages you're getting from your emotions um, 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 eight of pentacles work 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 as rihanna says Da, na, 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 na. Okay, four of wands. I like that. Seven of swords. Seven of swords. I don't like that. Um, hmm. A little bit of deceptive energy going on here, huh? Here with this four of wands, it's like you're building something. You're building the firm foundation for something that's going to bring you a lot of passion. And it could be in regards to a relationship 
Four of Wands talks about marriage, it talks about happy home life, it talks about celebrations. Um, passionate foundations. You're building, you're building, you're working really hard right now in order to create this foundation of passion. Um, the Seven of Swords here, I want to find out why that is here. Because it seems like you have a kind of deceptive energy in your midst. Something that's keeping you... All right, so here we got the Nine of Swords. Um, there's something that, gosh, I really feel like your work, is, there is an importance of grounding yourself here because I feel like you're very much in your headspace and you're overthinking something. You're overthinking something you've been working really hard on. And uh, the universe is saying, it's actually, you don't need to overthink it. You don't have to overthink it as much as you are. And just kind of more so allow allow this to come in um it's like you're you have too tight of a grip on something that you're not really able to see the clear picture i don't know if that makes sense don't know if that resonates that's the message i'm getting this seven of swords this is this message this is a could be a person could be younger person could be um younger fire sign energy but this is a message this is a message coming in this is a form of passionate communication but i see i don't like that seven of swords there because i see that it's like something deceptive something something's not something's not right here something's not right somebody could be withholding some passionate communication from you and you could be really overthinking this situation hmm all right let's see um, this could be somebody you're in a connection with that you're feeling like you're not you're not really like you know there's something that they're hiding from you or they're withholding like communicating to you we've got the five of wands there could have been an argument here there could have been an argument there could have been a conflict that arose and then this person pulled back their communication uh but i feel like they are going to communicate soon because they needed to take the time to um think about stuff to think about stuff and you could have been like you could be beating yourself up right now over um you both could be beating yourself up over this conflict whatever was said whatever happened here um whatever neglect because it could have been not even something that was said it's like maybe a feeling of like neglect maybe a feeling like even how the song says like you both were playing this game of who can care less more into the point where it's like doesn't serve either one of you um but i see some like some focus on the past some feeling of regret and stress in regards to whatever happened here you're both kind of looking at these like crying over spilled milk something that already happened you guys are very much focused on this occurrence um, but I feel like you're both, you're ready for this person. You're waiting for this person to communicate to you. And in the meantime, you're just kind of working. You're trying to distract yourself with your own stuff. Um, but you are waiting for this person to communicate to you. I think they're going to soon because they're in this four of swords. So whatever it is, they've taken the time to rest. They've taken the time to heal from this situation. They've taken the time to sit and think with it. And I feel like they're coming out of that. They're no longer thinking and they're ready to kind of take an action. The devil card. This person could feel very um, physically attracted to you. Um, this person could feel some kind of like physical, bound, like physically bound to you. Um, so I do feel like this person's going to come right back on in for more. Let me just tell you that. Um, could be a Capricorn you that you are dealing with, with the devil on the table. This is somebody who is, they're coming back in for their fix. Uh, you could give them some kind of fix, like I'm saying. It could be like a physical thing. Um, if you have like an on and off relationship with this person. So this could be the way that you need to love yourself. Or, you know, if this connection stresses you out because this person is going to communicate with you. But remember that Seven of Swords is here. So it's like this person has some kind of deceptive behavior when it comes to them. And you could feel that like when this person comes back in, it gives you anxiety because you never know what their 
what their motives are, what their goal is, but I'm seeing that, I'm seeing their motives pretty clearly. Seeing their motives pretty clearly with that devil card there. So I don't know if I have to paint the picture for you, but it's a very strong physical, physical thing. So this person comes back for like, comes back in for their fix. This could, person could feel like addicted to you or like the sense that they go away and then they come back come back to get that fix and you kind of know you know that like it always ends in conflict and then you know you always know that they come back um a lot of fives on the table a lot of fives on the table this could be somebody at some point you're in a connection with or you there's a lot of passion here and you're trying to you're trying to build this passionate foundation with this person but they have a little bit of deceptive behavior because it's like they're still trying to provide for themselves that they can't really provide for anybody else um and i do feel like this person goes into this kind of meditated hermit mode and then they come back out and when they come back out it's always like a physical thing this person has a little bit of like toxic behaviors in the sense that they could have like a addictive personality type um but we've got the ace of pentacles in reverse here for them we've got the five of swords here so that's that conflict and defeat feeling let's see see this page of swords this is you like wanting to come like you could want to communicate with this person but just it's like you both get to this cycle where you both have these you go through this stage of like pride not wanting to talk to this person and then you let your guard down could be kind of like that you heal from this situation only to jump right back into it um and that could be where you speak up i feel like you have something you want to say to this person that could potentially um i think why you don't say it but i think you're getting ready to why you don't say it because then look the lover's card came in reverse that's about making a choice that paired with the devil card here it's like something's off balance in this connection and i feel like you're getting ready to speak up about it and kind of stand up for yourself but you know in doing so that this person is going to recoil whatever offer that they have but scorpio i don't think that's a bad thing because i'm telling you this person this person has like one intention in mind um one intention in mind that is their strong driving point of coming back towards you and um it's strongly rooted in the physical so i don't know if you want to hear that or not but i think that you are if you were to let go of the burden that this connection comes in if you were to speak up for yourself stand up for yourself in this thing even if this person recoils whatever offer they have back from you it's actually going to free you up and free you up to allow more to enter your life and allow yourself to actually go towards building that strong passionate foundation for yourself because you're keeping that energy that energy for yourself so that's what i'm seeing for you guys in the extended i'll look more into who this person is what they are wanting um what messages they have for you what is happening unexpectedly for you advice from spirit as well as moving forward what is blocking this so if you're interested in that click the link in the description box and i will see you guys there bye